I'm here in northern Manitoba with my buddy Daniel Stagg and we are targeting lake trout. We're gonna get set up on our spot and we're gonna fish non-stop for the next couple days and hopefully get into a couple really good lake trout. We're just gonna punch some holes and get this show on the road. So as you can see, we're set up along this pressure ridge and we are in 60 feet of water right now. We're just on the bottom side of a big reef. What we're hoping is the fish are just kind of sliding along the bottom side of this thing and we're gonna intercept them. All right, right now we got a, like a 13 inch Cisco. We're gonna toss her down here. Modified version of a quick strike rig. She's chilly. So Dan brought a meat grinder that you would typically use for sausage and we're grinding up our chum into really fine ground fish and the reason for that is so that the fish have a hard time eating a whole bunch of it and filling up on it and so then the bigger chunks that we're tipping our lures with seem like more appetizing bigger chunks so hopefully this strategy pays off this is the setup oh hey dan what's going on welcome to my crib so yeah where dan's standing there that's where the first bed's gonna go second one's gonna go here you see we have the foam puzzle pieces on the floor and then dan's winter well stove here he's not sponsored yet but winter well winter, winter well says it right on the front there. Okay, so it's just a wood stove here. That's the damper. It's got a container that you can put about three liters of water in to boil it on the stove. Then a little oven on top. And here's a stove jack and it goes outside. And there's the chimney. So then here's the media center where we have some charging stuff going on. We've got the underwater camera, a little bit of storage. Yeah, here's the pantry, a little box full of groceries. Got a frozen banana, some chips, a couple Gatorades, apples, Smokies. So the main thing we're using here, I'm gonna start out with a big white tube jig and I'm just gonna work that pretty aggressively. Might tip it with a bit of sucker belly. It's got one on me. <laughs> What's that? I got a lake trout on me. Quit talking and then prove it to me. me. Alright, we're hooked up. What? <laughs> nope. Nope. Doesn't feel big. Probably an eater. I don't know, I hear drag. No, I'm just reeling against it. He got up the hole. Still got him. Cool. Well guys, first one. Well no, if you want to, if you want to. There he goes already. Okay. Cool. cool. Skunks out of the tent. Good. We can go home. Yeah, we can go home now. Pogos. Wait, wait, wait. Gotta put the chef's hat on. Let's get some light in here. I'll, uh, I wanted to see the old oven here in action. So we got some fresh old pogos. There's one on here, man. There's one on here, dude. Hang on. There's one on here. Are you recording? <laughs> Hello. I don't know, but he went for a peeling run and I couldn't even turn him around. <laughs> we just pulled up the camera cord, thank goodness. Oh, now I'm starting to feel some weight. We just lost a big one earlier on the tip up. Pass me the crocs. Okay. Pass me the crocs. There we go. <laughs> oh. Get these babies in sport mode. Sport mode, dude. Hard core. Uh, this is the Mr. Big Vanta Black series. My rod is spooled up with 15 pound fluoro and 15 pound mainline power pro braid. And if anybody's wondering what Dan caught that on, he's using Nate's baits. Oh yeah, okay. That'll do donkey. 
Let's see. That'll do. It's close. Look at that. Okay, buddy. Right up the hole. Right up the hole. Get in here. Get in here. Sport mode Crocs. Don't want to get them wet. One last look at this freaking beast. 40 inches, right on the dot. First master of the trip, first day. All right, let's get him a release. Ooh, he's roaring, ready to go. See fins, happy fins indicator. There. He's already kicking in the hole. Here he goes. Buddy. Heck yeah, buddy. Whoa! So after Daniel caught that big guy, I lost a pretty good fish. I'm gonna lay into him. And then another one. And then another one. At least you didn't lose the bait. Then we slept overnight. And in the morning, I lost another one. And then one of our flags went off outside the tent. We got a flag up. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh, it's spooled out. Oh, it's spooled, okay. Try not to pile the line together. This is feeling pretty good. Decently heavy. It's it's just, it's just a matter, is it 35 or is it 45? If you want to get out with a guy, he's going to put you on big fish. <laughs> Daniel Stagg's your guy. You know, him and I, we've been friends for a little while here, playing hockey together and stuff like that. And we find time to fish every now and then. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the body on him. Oh, he's wrapped in it. Oh. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. Up the hole, up the hole, up the hole. Oh, hold him up. He's trying to show the blood. Oh, oh my goodness. Get a load of this. <laughs> Northern Manitoba lake trout here with my buddy Daniel Stagg. We're gonna give him a drink here and take some pictures. Give him a measure. Okay, okay, here. Just took some pictures here in our live well. Now we're gonna give this big, beautiful lake trout a nice release. There she goes. Beautiful. <laughs> you never stop believing, eh? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. Until next time, I'm your outdoorsman Al. Got the corn dogs on the go. Just about to make some coffee.